So welcome. It's our last week of our series, Double Dog Dare. We've had a lot of fun. Um, we've got to see some really cool stuff, including me getting a pie in my face, thanks to Miss Holly. Uh, but we've also gotten to see uh, Mr. Josh do some uh, do a cool dance, and then of course who could forget Jessica, uh, Cam, and Tori and their their awesome lip sync. So uh, that was a lot of fun. And of course I can't wait to see if it's Mr. Derek or Miss Emma who's going to get the slime. So um, I voted for Miss Emma, by the way. So uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, all right. Uh, today we're going to learn about how we can obey God by choosing not to sin. So we've learned in our series last month that the sin that sin entered the world when Adam and Eve chose to disobey God. Ever since then, the Bible tells us that people were born with sin. They've lived selfish lives and they've disobeyed God. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about sin. So it says, um, you know, that we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, right? So, so we got some sin in our lives, right? Okay, put a little sin there. Got that. Uh, well, we not only sin, we got some more sin, right? So we got some more sin right here. Okay, all right, cool, cool. Got that. What about even more sin? What do we got here? Huh? Okay, so. So let's talk about this. So yeah, uh, maybe we tell a little lie. Okay, so we got some sin going on here. All right, all right. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, yummy. Okay. All right. Then maybe we talk bad about somebody behind their back, huh? All right. So things are getting a little messy, right? This is what sin does to us, and our sin in our lives. Okay. Um, what about being selfish, you know? And you kind of only think about yourself, right? So, what about that? So here we are here, right? So we got this sin going on. You know, things, like I said, things can get pretty messy. Um, you know, of course, the crazy thing about sin is that we can't get it off by ourselves, right? Now, the crazy and awesome thing about God, right, is that He doesn't let us, He doesn't try to, let us try to clean it by ourselves, right? Right? Doesn't. So because of his love and mercy, he chose to send Jesus to take all of our sin with him, uh, or with him, excuse me. And so when he died on the cross, he took our sin. Because of that act of love, God made it possible for us to receive forgiveness for our sins. So when we ask for forgiveness, God is faithful to cleanse us from the mess of sin. Pretty cool, huh? Today we're going to hear a story about how God shows mercy to a man named Lot and how Lot obeyed and chose not to sin. That reminds me of something. What is it? Ah, the big idea, right? So what is the big idea? We can obey God by turning away from sin. Cool, okay? All right, so now let's jump to the story. Um, our story today is in the book of Genesis, chapter 18 and 19. So God reveals to Abraham that the people in the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah were so bad that the cities um, and all the people in them would be destroyed. Of course, Abraham's nephew, Lot, lived in Sodom. Lot and his family did not live in sin. They actually followed God. Abraham feared Lot, or feared that Lot and his family would be destroyed uh, when the city was destroyed. So Abraham pleaded with God to save the lives of any righteous people living there. He actually says, Abraham asked God, Hey, if, 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 would you spare the city if, if, if you found at least 50 people, 50 righteous people? And of course God said, sure. And then Abraham said, well, what about 45 people? And God said it in, yeah, sure, that's fine. Then he said, well, what about 40, then 30, then 20? And of course God says, sure, sure, sure. Um, and then finally, uh, Abraham said, well, what about 10 people? If you find 10 righteous people, would you spare them? Of course, each time God said, yes, I would spare the city. Of course, Abraham, his, his, his main concern was obviously his, his family, right? Lot. Lot and his family. That's why he kept getting smaller and smaller. He wanted to be able to save them. So God sent two angels to Lot and Sodom, but are met with a wicked, angry mob. The angels 
only found that Lot and his family were righteous among the people. The people there were so, like I said, wicked. And they were just mean. They, they sinned. They had all kinds of sin in their lives. Um, of course, the angels warned Lot to quickly leave the city and not to look back. So God showed Lot and his family mercy by saving him from being destroyed with the rest of the cities. So y'all remember our big idea? That's right. It was we can obey God by turning away from sin. That's exactly what Lot did. He made a choice not to sin. And he obeyed when he was told to leave town and not to look back. Okay, so I mentioned that God showed mercy to Lot. Do you know what the word mercy means? Does anybody have an idea? It means to show someone compassion and forgiveness instead of punishment. So how does God show us mercy? Well, God showed us mercy when he sent Jesus to save us from our sins, right? Because he loves us so much, we deserve death. Our penalty or consequence for sin is death. How amazing the mercy that God has shown us, right? It is so cool. What about you? Can any of you think of a time when you sinned by doing something you shouldn't have? How did God show you mercy? What did you learn from it? I wasn't supposed to feed my dog human food, but I decided to feed him goldfish under the table. And of course I got in trouble because my mom figured it out. And so I had to get some extra chores because of that. And I learned that it is so important to have integrity, which means doing the right thing even when no one's looking. So now I know to definitely not feed my dog goldfish under the table. <laughs> Okay, so when I was like in, I think it was like second or third grade, we went on vacation. And I have a sister and she's older than me. She's like five and a half years older than me. And anyway, so she was like junior high, or maybe high school, I don't remember. Um, anyway, so my parents said, stay with your sister. We were at this like hotel place. Stay with your sister, we're going to get ice or something. And I was like, okay, okay. And because they didn't really want us going off by herself, but they figured she's old enough and she, you know, so stay together no matter what. Well, she made me mad. I don't remember why, but I ran off. I got in so much trouble. Um, yeah, it wasn't good. But what was the question? Oh, mercy. Okay. Well, God showed me mercy because obviously he forgave me. I mean, he did. He forgave me. Um. And also, I just thought of this today when you told me you were going to ask me this question. I was like, oh, he showed me mercy also by keeping me safe. Because that was really stupid of me. Like, I could have gotten, I don't know, taken or hurt or lost or something and God protected me. So, he was merciful to me even though I didn't deserve it. So, great examples of God's mercy. God truly does love us and wants to show mercy to us, right? So, before I finish up, I can't leave without telling you our Double Dog Dare Challenge of the week. So, we talked about the mess sin causes in our lives, right? Look at all this right here. All this mess. And unfortunately, i got to clean it up. My challenge to you, or my dare, is for you to clean up a mess for somebody. And I don't care what it is. Uh, say if it's your brother's messy room. Volunteer to go help them clean up, okay? What about the dinner table um, um, after um, after dinner at night, right? So just tell your parents, hey, I'm going to clean it up, right? And while you do it, I want you to think about how Jesus uh, cleaned up sin in your own life, okay? All right. Well, I hope you guys have a good week, and one of these days we'll get to see each other in person. All right.